welcome to our body weight training routine. This is going to be day one. I'm joined by Scout, who is likely going to be sleeping for the entire thing. We are going to have three different supersets. So that means you're going to have two exercises that are paired together, and there's going to be three of them for a total of six exercises. Your first group of exercises, you're going to be standing, okay? Actually, we're going to be on a wall for the first one. So a wall sit, you'll see that labeled as A1. We're going to go up against this wall, and we're going to try to go down to when our legs are at about 90 degrees, and we're going to hold that position for the prescribed amount of time. You can keep your arms at your side for this. So if this is, if this is challenging or bothersome on your knees, you can always go up a little bit. It's going to be with whatever range of motion you feel comfortable with. Okay, so once we get done with this, we're going to move into the next exercise. And if you're by a wall, you can still use this for support. This is going to be a knee-friendly lunge variation. We're going to step back just a little bit, and instead of bending our leg like that for the lunge, we're actually going to lean forward a little bit more, okay? If you don't want to use the wall, that's fine. Again, we're leaning forward a little bit more, and you should feel that a little bit more in the back side of your leg. So do the prescribed number of reps there, and then go back to the wall sit, okay? So those are your two exercises together. Get through all the sets that you're going to do. And then we'll move on to the next stuff, which is going to be on the floor. So now we're going to be moving on to our B-based exercises. It's going to be two core exercises. We're going to do a slow ab bike and then a hollow pull. So these will be for reps, and then you'll have to figure out how to do timing, okay? You just count in your head, that's totally fine. Slow ab bike, we're going to start out in this position. We're going to bring our right elbow to our left leg, and then switch. So we're gonna go nice and slow for this. Keep your low back on the ground the whole time. Once you get done with the prescribed number of reps there, we're gonna do the hollow hold. So the hollow hold is we'll start in the same position, but what we're gonna do is we will bring our arms and legs out. Now for this, we wanna keep our low back in contact with the ground the whole time. If you find that to be tough, just raise your legs up a little bit, okay? The lower you bring your legs, the harder it's going to be. So we're gonna go and do those two exercises, that's your B1 and your B2, get through all the sets, and then we'll move on to our final C-based exercises. All right, moving on to our C-based exercises. We're gonna be right here. We're gonna be on all fours, just like this, and we're gonna do a donkey kick. So for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our hip up. Imagine there's like a glass of water on your back, on your foot, and you want to lift up and squeeze your glute at the top. So we're gonna do all of the reps, make sure you really feel that in your butt, and then go ahead and switch the leg that you're using, okay? So just up straight like that. You should feel that exercise in your butt. And then the last one that we're gonna do, again, those are paired together. It's gonna to be a plank to a pike. So plank position or push-up position, actually. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pike up just like this. And then slowly lower ourselves right back down, okay? And we're gonna do all the prescribed number of reps. Slowly lower yourself back down. When you get done with that, take a minute. And then we're back to our donkey kicks. All right, and that's routine one of the body weight exercise.